Hello, I'm Natasha Foreman. Welcome to the Breaking Bread with Natasha podcast, where I share daily devotionals from my namesake blog. So you can listen on demand to spiritual messages inspired by God's love as expressed in the Bible and other religious texts. You can read along at breakingbreadwithnatasha.com or sit back and take in the word. Either way, I'm blessed to have you break bread with me. Without further delay, let's begin today's message. Welcome, Breaking Bread family. This is Natasha Foreman. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's look at Romans chapter 2, lines 19 to 23. The translation that I'm reading says, If you are convinced that you are a guide for the blind, a light for those who are in the dark, an instructor of the foolish, a teacher of little children, because you have in the law the embodiment of knowledge and truth, you then who teach others, do you not teach yourself? You who preach against stealing, do you steal? You who say that people should not commit adultery, do you commit adultery? You who abhor idols, do you rob temples? You who boast in the law, do you dishonor God by breaking the law? (laughs) What if someone never read the Bible and never went to church, but only had you to rely on to show them how a Christian, a believer, a disciple of Christ should be, should act, should speak, and should think. What would be their experience? Mm. How would you rate yourself as a representative of Jesus Christ if given the scale of one to seven, with one being a poor example and seven being an exa- uh, awesome example? <laughs> if someone secretly videotapes you for several weeks or months, what would that tape show about you and how you live, speak, treat yourself, and treat others? How much are you aligned to the life Jesus lived for us to model? Do you lie to others but say, it's just a white lie? Or, I didn't lie, I just didn't tell the whole truth. Do you say you can't stand thieves yet you find yourself stealing people's ideas or all sorts of things from hotels, companies, or your job and you rationalize the theft? You try to justify it? Mmm. <laughs> Do you badmouth other people who cheat on their significant other, but when you do it, you call it anything and everything except what it is, cheating? Would it be cheating if you found out your significant other did it? Mm. Do you say that people can control their urges and avoid addiction, yet you just have to consume or partake in something regularly to feel a sense of normalcy? Sexual addiction on every level is just as intoxicating and destructive as alcohol addiction, drug addiction, or gambling addiction. And let me add that sugar is the most addictive substance we can consume. Just throwing some things out there. So be mindful of your judgment of others. When we play with fire, we will always get burned. Pray to God to show you the truth about yourself and your relationship with him. Then pray for the strength and courage to acknowledge your ways and your disconnect from him. Then do your part to realign with him and live like his honorable and dignified child. I'm praying each day for a strengthened and fortified relationship with him, for a changed heart and life, the way God intends so I can represent and reflect the love, light, joy, honor, and purity that is in and of him. I want my life to be God-centered and focused. How about you? 
We sin because we don't trust and believe in him to provide what we desire when we desire it. We sin because our relationship with him is self-centered and focused and not as a partnership where we trust him to lead and provide. Let's be the example we want to see in the world, not the example of the world we came to under pressure. We can do this. We can. Don't let the enemy convince you of otherwise. Let's pray on this. Father, I want to look in your spiritual mirror and check myself. I want to look deeply and see if I'm practicing what I'm preaching, following the advice I give others, walking the path of righteousness that I claim I'm navigating, living the life as your ambassador, or am I a deceitful hypocrite? Place the mirror before me, Father. Let me see my true self. Let me see the areas that need correction and improvement where I'm disconnected and not in agreement with you and where my trust is not present. There's no greater and more important relationship than with you. And if I'm not glorifying you, then I'm not truly serving you. I want to be a trusting and trustworthy disciple. Let's work together to strengthen and heal our relationship. I love you, Father, and I only want to do right in your sight. In your name, I praise and pray. Amen. And with that, family, I pray that you are blessed, that you see and embrace your blessings, that you are blessing the others. I love you all. Go out there and make today an amazing day. Take care. Hi, family. If what I shared in today's message resonates with you, I hope you will share it with others. Feel free to leave positive comments and reviews on my site, breakingbreadwithnatasha.com, and through whichever podcast provider that you're listening to me. Each day, I work to be a better steward and servant. I hope you will join me in sharing God's love and truth and rebuking the enemy's lies. Now go out there and make today an awesome day. I love you all.